30 challenge. Um, basically the paleo diet, which I practice most days anyway, but I've been cheating and I cannot seriously be any more ready for it. I have been cheating so bad on Tuesday. Today's Thursday. On Tuesday, I ate a whole pint of the Tonight Dough, Ben and Jerry's, and it was so freaking good. And then yesterday, I ate so much chocolate. So, on the Whole30, you can't have chocolate, which is probably a good thing. And I feel every time that I eat something bad, I just feel it. Like, I feel my blood sugar raise, I feel myself bloat, like, I know all the points in my body where fat is trying to be stored right now, but I keep working out to keep that Ben and Jerry's off of me. But I'm ready for the whole 30. Thought that was a cup. I'm ready for the whole 30. And let's see how this month of clean eating goes. <laughs> let's go. Hey guys, so I thought I would do a quick checkup. It's day five of the Whole30, and today my sugar cravings have completely gone away. And for me, like that's crazy. I crave chocolate, I crave sweets like crazy. And I, in particular, I really crave uh, sweets after I eat like a meal. So after lunch, like I'll be like, I need chocolate. And Today, I ate my lunch and I was like, yes, I am full. That's how food works. So, <laughs> so far so good. I'll talk to you guys in a couple days when it hits a week of the Whole30. Hey y'all, so I made it a week on the Whole30. I haven't cheated yet on purpose. People keep, companies keep having like sneaky sugar in things like tomato sauce. I tried making a taco like a lettuce wrap taco and I was making the taco meat and I put salsa in it and then I've also put tomato sauce and in the tomato sauce so okay the whole story is I made that and then I ate it and then I got bloaty and I was like well why am I so bloaty like I, that doesn't make any sense I'm not eating bad stuff and so I went and looked on the tomato sauce can and it said it had freaking sugar in it so technically I cheated but I don't care it's just interesting that my body has now it now like a nose immediately when I have something I'm not supposed to like sugar or whatever it may be but I think the hardest part so far is not being able to put honey in my coffee coffee tastes like dirt <laughs> like it really tastes so bad to me I don't like the taste of bitter things like I like the taste of like sugary things like I like coffee ice cream and like those really bougie sounding coffees from Starbucks um, it was also hard at first to go without chocolate because chocolate is my favorite food ever but now I'm used to it and it's funny because if I accidentally ingest sugar like that I'll end up craving chocolate and so that craving completely disappeared if I like completely and utterly avoid sugar all day so that's good. I made it one week. Check in with you next week. So I'm on week two. It's been 15, no, it's been 14 days since I started the Whole30. And I feel really good. Like I'm not craving sugar, not craving like all the things I used to eat. Like I love the taste of food. Like when I eat, I can taste like all the flavors within a dish instead of just like searching for like the sugary taste or like the extreme flavors like spice like a really hot spice or like savory barbecue whatever I like can taste the undertones like if something has an earthy taste I can actually taste it now that's cool um, I still want to put honey in coffee but that's beside the point I will do that as soon as I'm off this diet <laughs> 